So concentration gradient has, doesn't have anything to do with its charge specifically. Concentration is specifically its concentration, not to be redundant. Just have to write down the time. Okay. So, for example, like if we're just looking at the concentration gradient of sodium, if I have two beakers, okay, and there's a, yeah, just two beakers, they're connected. So this one has it's a little bit of salt water, okay? So both of them naturally have about that much. Then I take a huge thing of sodium chloride and I pour it in, so now for my sodium ions, I have of 10 times much, 10 times as much. According to the principle of diffusion, what, what's gonna happen? So it's going to spread out. Mm -hmm. So its concentration gradient is pointed this way. Okay. If I put more in, it's going to have a stronger concentration gradient. And then so it'll want to go to the other one even more, or it will spread more quickly. Okay. So the concentration gradient is simply um, it things flowing from high concentrations to low concentrations. Um, and so the bigger the concentration, the stronger the flow. Because okay. I wanted to make sure I understand that charts. Yeah, because if you don't understand concentration gradients, then it's really hard to understand why things are happening in the cell. Okay. 